let's take a quick look at uh, configuring a workgroup. Once you log into the Shoreware Director, the navigation links under Administration on the left side of the screen, find the one that says Workgroups. Click on it. You'll either have the option to click here, create a new workgroup, or operate on an existing workgroup. Let's kill two birds with one stone. If you hit Add New, it's going to bring up a fill in the form. Let's take a look at the Actors Help Desk and see what that form looks like. We gave it a name. So our workgroup has a name. It has a dialable extension. You can literally dial extension 850 and your call is going right into this workgroup. A backup extension. Name someone to be the backup in the event that the hunt group fails. It's a good practice, I'm sorry, not hunt group, in the event that the work group fails, it's a good practice to create a hunt group that has the same members as the work group and select it as the backup extension so that if the hunt group fails for some reason, calls will be routed to the same people but through a hunt group function. In version 10, unlike previous uh, versions of Shortel, you can select the server that you want this work group to appear on. Uh, this is new in version 10. If you have an earlier version, you will not be asked to select the server. All work groups are on the headquarters server, but in version 10, you can add them to your DVMs. You can clearly, as previously discussed in hunt groups, assign a DEID or a DNS number to your hunt group, so excuse me, work group, so that it can be directly dialed from outside. You want to give it a user group because the, uh, the work group will need to make phone calls and it will need to access uh, permissions that are defined by the user groups. Where does the mailbox for this work group live? Select that server. Typically, we don't want the work group to be included in the spell by name directory or to have a broadcast message recipient capability from the voicemail system. You will want to record a name, you know, hit the record button, say Actors Help Desk. Work group membership I'll come back to and work group call handling we'll come back to in just a moment, but let's finish with this page. As is the case with a route point or a hunt group, you're going to select on hours capabilities, off hours, holiday, and custom. You can assign a schedule to a hunt group, in which case support on hours determines when the on hours uh, definition for this work group kicks in, when will off hours kick in. Off hours typically the, re the reciprocal of on hours. At this point, we're going to say, when a call comes in here, what is the distribution pattern? How do we want our agents to be notified? We can select top down, round robin, longest idle. Let's send the call to the person in the work group who has been idle the longest. You also have the option of ringing everybody simultaneously. I don't particularly uh, like this option and there are reasons that I would not use it, but it is available to you. Typically, you're going to pick top down or longest idle. At that point, we're interested in knowing how to handle the call under the condition of no answer or, bu or busy. So keep in mind, um, multiple calls are coming in here, and we want the call to act differently depending on the availability of our agents. Let's assume that all the agents are logged in but currently busy. They're engaged in a telephone conversation. What we typically want, the benefit of a work group, is that we want to go ahead and queue that call. You do have the option of sending the call to another extension. You can actually send it to another call center uh, outside the company by filling in using this format here the destination telephone number uh, of an external location. Generally, however, you're going to queue that call uh, until an agent becomes available. If there is no answer, uh, maybe uh, uh, all the agents are 
gone from their desks, I would not recommend queuing the call. Um, there's no sense to queue it if nobody's answering it. Let's go ahead and send it to voicemail. If everybody has logged out, again, we don't want to queue the call uh, if everybody has logged out for the day. Let's send it to voicemail. Here we're going to set the rings per agent and the number of rings that constitute no answer. So we're going to say here ring each agent three times and if they haven't answered in eight rings let's consider that a no answer send the call to voicemail. You have the option of establishing a greeting for the work group so when we send the call to voicemail here where is it going? It's going to the mailbox for work group in this example 850 and so mailbox 850 can in fact have its own uh, greeting and we can nominate a work group assistant who will be notified uh, and be aware of messages in this mailbox. With the work group function on your call manager, uh, what's exciting about the call manager is that it will show each member of the work group the work group mailbox so everybody in the work group will be aware of a message left in that work group. Remember to save. If you don't save, it didn't happen.